back to Dredge. Now with the Iron Rig DLC, honestly, this looks really cool. Oh, we can actually see the uh, fire area yeah, in the background. I like this music. Yes, yeah, so downloadable content. I have the DLC now. And, um, I wonder if there's actually a way to change this. Probably isn't. Wait, wait, so we're going to be continuing where we left off last time. We're going to be heading straight into the Iron Rig DLC as soon as I figure out where it is. Yeah, last time I left off at day 201. It took me until 201 days to find every single, um, item that I needed. So, let's grab haste, and let's look at the map real quick. The map helped us... I clicked the like, right button. The map helped us last time. Let's see. So, where is the DLC? Because I know there's that down there. There's a lot of pins. How do we do the DLC? I'm not sure. Maybe we'll just sail around until we find it. Oh, I gotta turn on my light. Oh, it's right there. Alright, let's sail towards it. Dude, I cannot wait. My, what, what am I using? Not sure. Yeah, so it's just right here, which... That's right here. Yeah. So, I wonder, is there going to be an oil spill over there? Because remember in the cinematic scene, we saw that in the... And it looks like we already found something right here. I'll just dredge it up. I feel like I probably shouldn't. But yeah, we're going to dredge this up. And finally, more of a use for dredging than just hoping you find something you need. There we go. Let's actually read the description. A heavy wooden crate full of materials. The outside is plastered with legal threats and warnings against unauthorized opening. The Foreman Ironhaven Corporation Construction Site Sector J115. Okay, so my guess is if you're somewhere out in the world and you find one of these crates, they'll tell you exactly where the thing is. That's how you're supposed to find this. Because if we go to J15, that would put it right there. J15. So that does help us actually find this. So let's go take this crate to the four men at J15. And honestly, this just looks so cool. Because oil makes the world go round. Without oil, literally nothing would work. Alright, and here's the dock right here. You can tell because the tires, you can just ram into them and nothing happens to your boat. And there's an elevator right here. I'm guessing that we'll take the elevator. You dock at the small metal wharf. Four giant lakes stretch down to the deep, lifting a mountain of metal into the sky. Oh, yeah, make sure to like, subscribe, and follow me on Rumble. Let's take the cargo elevator. An elevator connecting the docking area. Oh, you have a gold tooth. I just noticed that. You must be the uh, foreman because you have this. He has a nice mustache. No beard, but a mustache. Actually, does anyone in this have a beard? Let me think. Yeah, I don't think any character actually has a beard except for the, um, collector. Alright, platform lies ahead. A man waits nearby. A yellow hard hat strapped to a concerned expression. What do you want? What is this place? Haven't you heard? This is the Iron Havens Corporation's new drill and oil rig. Or it would be if we were on schedule. Right now it's just a platform. The boss is going to dock our paper sure if he shows up and the drill hasn't even started. We got the foundation stuff laid, but we're running out of some supplies. He glances nervously at the water. Large waves roll underneath the shadow of the platform. The ship's delivering crates and materials keep going missing. And HQ says they're not going to dispatch more for weeks. Look, I wouldn't normally ask a civilian for help, but we're already so far behind. Why don't I mark the last known coordinates of these ships on your map? If you're able to find any of those crates, I'm sure the Corp will let you use our facility once we get the generators wired up. Alright, so the Iron Rig, I love this background right now. It's yellow. I always loved yellow. It's um, like industrial. I like industrial stuff. Be able to find any of these crates? Yeah, alright. So, we only have one here. I'll just leave that there for you, buddy. 
And let's look. Our new pursuit, which again, we've done all this. Hell Reach was quite a bore with their quest, but nice outline. What's the outline for this one? Dude, that's cool. There's like yellow steel beams and a bit of oil leaking from here. Getting power. Grab two crates. Let's look at what it says. <clears throat> Moored at the Iron Haven Corporation's new rig, built north of the Maros. Spoke to the foreman of the project. Sounds like they need some help with getting the generators going. Apparently their material shipments have started going missing. There are only a few things they have. There are only a few. They only need a few things. And let me use their facility if I help out. The foreman had the last known coordinates of the shipping vessels and marked them on my map. We already found one for him. And actually, we have the Book of Astral Symbols, which I have not read yet. I think this is a DLC item. As I do not remember um, having that. Wait, let's real quick look at the map. Alright, so, okay, yeah, so this is just pinned on our map like that. So, yes, yeah, so there are pins around here. So there's some here and some here, well... The Tristed Strands is closer, so I'll head towards there. Is that south of here? Yeah. In fact, it's literally right here. This this ship almost made it here. But as we saw in the um, first trailer, um, it appears the Leviathan is attacking these, and just the monsters that lurk around here. It's honestly a, a surprise that people even live here at all. I mean, the people at the Minnows clearly know what's going on. There's two crates here, but is there only one or actually two? Does what's beneath the surface actually matter? It does. I wonder, do we read do we are we reading the book as we're doing this? Well, yeah, make sure to like, subscribe, follow me at Rumble, do all that lovely jazz I always tell you guys to do. And man, the iron rig just looks magnificent. Yes, this is coastal, but I do not have the right equipment for this. Because I don't have... Yeah, I just don't because I don't have it. That's something we haven't caught before, though, I'm pretty sure. But just look at this. This thing's magnificent. Alright. Hmm. If you're able to find any of those crates, I'm sure they'll be okay. Yeah, same thing as before. Alright, there you go. Construct. Hmm. That ought to be enough to get the generators going. I'll get these materials set up to the main platform. Deliver the shipments. Deliver the missing shipments to the iron rig. Man, they built that fast. Zero minutes. Stuff should be in work in order, but I just checked the storeroom. It looks like we ain't got we never got any fuses delivered. I did find this though, you can use this to patch up things in a pinch. It's the least I could do for your help. So repair two So this is just a repair on the go. Your damage you can just repair. Will I go and figure out the will I go and figure out the fuel situation? Why don't you introduce yourself to the head scientist? He's always interested to hear about local fish species. I love how it's yellow. Just look, it looks so cool, right? Science lab. You approach an old man, pacing back and forth near a cornered off area of the main platform. He's muttering to himself quietly. Hmm? Who are you? Ah. The angler turned Corbier. Isn't that right? The workers were talking about you. All good things, I presume. Say, you must know a great deal about the fish species around here, yes? We've been encountered in my, these waters. You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Instead of rolling his eyes, as most people do when they sense a fisherman's tail approaching, the scientist's eyes glisten with an intense curiosity. I like it. Is that so? Perhaps we'll find me a little bit more imaginative than others. Before we get into all that, though, it seems my laboratory is also a victim of missing supply shipments. I was planning on conducting research into these fish species in the area. But I can't do that without somewhere to study. Well, here's your crate. I have a feeling this is going to get very annoying very fast. I'm not sure, though. Hmm. Oh, we've got enough materials for the science lab now, too. Oh, we've got enough materials for the science lab now, too. We'll get to work. I feel like one crate does not hold all those materials. There should be enough space for those tubes and fluids, eh? Yes, more than sufficient for my needs. Thank you both of you. Fishman, considering you're not on the corpse payroll, why don't you take this as a small token of my appreciation? 
So this is another consumable item. Soothing tea. Thermostat of calming cinnamon tea, enough to quiet a panicked mind. The foreman turns to you. I think we have a solution for our fuel problem. Come and see me at the generator, I'll give you the rundown. I'm gonna go back to the science lab real quick. How can I help you? How long have you been working for the Iron Haven Corporation? My whole professional career has been dedicated to scientific research in the corporation. So, well, north half of a century now. What does that mean? Our current executive's father hired me when I was fresh out of college. He must have seen something in me all those years ago. Hmm? Huh. Alright, generator. So it turns out the fuel never got to patch from Iron Haven at all. It was on the radio of HQ and apparently this is a biofuel generator. It's some new tech the Corp wanted to try out here. As they expected us to supply it ourselves. The thing is, they didn't think to outfit us with the gear for harvesting biomass. And the fleet service construction is way down on the project list. So you can help mm. us out again? You can add fish or most other bio biological material, I suppose. So the hopper here. Once it's filled, we ought to be able to start drilling. Well, I have a few fish. Don't you see this fish? Don't you think it looks strange? It's in your hand. Don't you think this looks strange? I don't know what happens if we just put these fish in here. Probably nothing. Well, let's give them all the fish that can fit in here. I have to say, the music in this game is bloody brilliant as always. And we need a, uh, yeah, just a few more. Alright, well. Uh, I actually need to redock here and go into my storage and pull out the fishing rods I need. Here it is, the versatile rod. Uninstall. Throw it in here. Uninstall. Toss it in. Rotate. Just throw it right in there. I wonder if we have any more use for these explosives. I cert certainly hope so. I paid good money for that. So we have the flame of the sky. Or we have my ear doesn't ray. Um. I mean, it just goes double. Um, a little less than double the radius. If only we had something that pierced the darkness more. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure we'll get it soon, but this, yeah, this is the best I have. For some reason, it's better. Alright, let's go get him two more fish, which we could just get by driving around here, but I want to fish something up. No, not want to use atrophy. Oh. Of course, Oceanic, and I just happen to not have it. Well, the Tangle will certainly get me something. Also, wait a minute. Is there any new enemies? Because the Pale Reach add in that, um... Stingray. The Pale Reach added that in. So, my question here is, are we going to get, um... Oh, we got another, um, abomination of a fish. My question here is, are we going to get a new enemy? I certainly hope so. Uh, besides the one that lurks in the oil. Chris Moore just heard something. I must be hearing things, though. I mean, that does make sense. Hmm. Alright, generator. Yeah, so raw oh. is biological material. It won't hold any more. I'll fire it up. The crushing compactor chunks... Clunks to life, the sounds of pistons and stuttered squelching soon gives way to the stuttering sound of distant gears. <laughs> We've done it! A large capsule drops down into this chute they would waste. Through its clear walls you can see the remains of fish that you deposited. Alright. Well, you'd probably be able to use that for chum, right? It's yours if you want it. Canister of misaligned fish, a door of warnings, and caution labels attract, attracts wicked fish. I can finally get the drill started. All clear. Initiating drill deployment in three, two, one. The drill descends. I love oil. Did you know that the Soviet Union actually made a lot of drilling? Because they were trying to drill, like, a hole through the entire Earth. Oh, and here comes a fracture line. It's fracturing, and the oil will spill out everywhere. The Soviet Union actually created a lot of uh, drilling technology because they wanted to drill to the, through the entire Earth. The scientist walks over to you, gripping handfuls to counteract 
handrails to counteract the shockwaves of the drill. We've broken through. We're underway at last. What about that huge crack that opened up? Is it reservoir stable? <sighs> Mid lane, the pressure, the fissure, is larger than my motto suggested. But it appears to have been stabilized. We should consider halting the drilling for now. Also, we should remain to our duties to the local population. If we don't survey the area and gather some data in this vein. Fisherman, I have something for you. The factory has recently become operational, allowing us to manufacture equipment and fuse with the corporation's latest breakthrough. This is our new design. An infused rod, which is really fast fishing speed. That's insane. The line pierces through the canister of dark fluid, coating it and strengthening it. Well, that sounds like oil. Hi. Um, let me take this and just install it and and install this and have this sent to storage. Using that rod, I need to collect specimen samples from the marrows. Just check the fish species I've had in here. So new fish, sea cucumber, whatever this is, paddlefish, and whatever that is. Wow, there's a lot. So there's the foundry, a helm figure emerged from the shadows by building site. He lifts his visor. Place ain't built yet. He gestures to the pile of materials behind him. We're short in materials. Once they arrive, we can start working. I like you. What is the was trying to say? Yeah, the Soviet Union invented a lot of drilling technology because they were trying to drill the center of Earth, got too hot, and it melted some of the drill bits. So they actually made really impressive drills. That's all we need. We can get the foundry built now. Where'd the foreman go? Good to go. Basic materials can be worked on here. So if we give him a screw, a plank and a sheet of metal, we get an iron haven crate. You want this made, I'll be needing some things for you. Back to blueprints. Interesting. That also makes absolutely no sense, tech lab. You're an engineer, because you have a wrench. That's clearly the only reason. Without a wrench, you can't be an engineer. But the tech, with, when the tech lab is operational, you'll be able to work on projects more the nature of engineering. I have plans of interchangeable model systems, you see. I'll show you when we're set up here, but, um... One more lot of materials to be able to upgrade some of your boat's basic functions. Well, I don't have any right now. We have the factory, which you're the engineer again. Woman stood inside the doorway, sketching a design in her notebook. Uh, hey there, welcome to the factory. I'm the lead engineer here. Um, because of your help getting things running here, I've been permitted to improve your gadgets... And, <laughs> and permit... English. Improve your equipment of our tech. So as you can see, there's four tiers here. Goodness gracious. We have the imbued, infused hoist. So this is all infused with oil. Wow, this stuff's amazing. Just look at this. This is way better than anything else. I like it. This isn't the best I've seen. How's it going out there? I don't have any samples. Do you have those samples from the marrows yet? No. Uh, what's the purpose of this rig? Well, I can't go into specifics, we understand. But the purpose of this platform is to te test a critical hypothesis I've been working on for years. So my hypothesis proves correct. I'll yield a significant asset for our corporation's business. Dursifa... D D English strategy. Aren't you going to stop the drill? Ah, yes, I believe the drill has already stopped operating. The foreman should be making preparations to withdraw from the seabed. It's not something you can just yank out, apparently. The drill team will take any time to ensure minimal disturbance. Alright, well, let's go get what we need. Actually, wait, let's talk oh. to the foreman. What can I do for you? We can tell me about the Iron Haven Corporation. Oh. Working with the corp for about a decade now. Started out as a laborer on projects like this one. Not all, not always out at sea, mind you. I've worked my up to... English? Why can I not speak English? And I've worked my way up to site foreman. The corp itself is pretty successful, a bit of an institution. It's been around for a hundred years in one form or another. They always seem to buy di diversifying into oh. new areas. The whole drilling division is guided by the scientists. He calls the shots when it comes to the site. No, no, shite. On sites. Boss seems to listen mm. to him too. Just, I can't speak English right now. What's the rig for? The rig is your standard setup, designed to pierce the seabed and collect from fluid reservoirs. It doesn't have much storage capacity though, which is odd. Even though not expecting a huge thoroughfoot. I don't actually think this was an oil fit out here, but I suppose the surveyors might have found something else. 
I wouldn't be here talking to you. Hmm. What happened to the missing material ships? Ever since we got our legs on the platform seated on the seafloor, the supply ships stopped going missing. Or started going missing. HQ told us they left port, but they never showed up again. I guess the crew thought they could just make some money, selling off the materials and selling them elsewhere. Doesn't seem worth the risk to me. Between you and me, the corp is pretty ruthless. Reputation of tracking anyone down who moves against them. People tend to make one mistake. People tend to make the one mistake, if that, if you get what I mean. Anything else? Yeah. Alright. Let's continue. Man, we, wait. I've been doing this for 20 minutes. Right, Scott. My copy right. Oh, there's a whale there. I just can't be. I um Middles are this way. Yes, yeah, so now there's this just line just fractured through here. Alright, well let's go over here, but there's an oil spill. I wonder if you all have anything to say about this. I remember building this house for her, but I never did talk to her again. The builder out here. Ah. And thanks again for helping me move out here, managing myself set up. Yeah, that's all you had to say. Alright, I wonder if any other characters have new things to say. Oh, move a li little bit too fast. Alright, now I probably... Oh, I do. So disturb water. Press F at the right time to let the ball go through. Alright, we already got one of the things we needed to catch. Just catch a few of them. With my superior fishing skills, I'll make sure to get them all. Depleted. Alright. Looks quite strange if you ask me, these fish. They don't look too natural, but I'll read their entries later. Actually, maybe I could do an entire video just reading entries. I doubt anyone would watch it. But I, now I can finally complete the whole uh, Dredge Story Explained after I win. It's a little bit hard to hit those constantly. And it's getting pretty dark out now. Let me see in my cabin. Have I 44% of the way done? Alright. Just give me three hours of a book and I can read it. Oh, I already have this. Ooh. This is an aberrated one, ain't it? Yes, it is. Let's read the description. A shell of bone pierced by spurs of something stronger. Horned malite shielding eye sockets. Oh, eyeless sockets. Interesting. And there we go. Trophy. Wonder how much these things sell for. Not that it really matters. As you can see by the fact that I have $19,000. I've spent a bit too much dark ooze gathers on your vessel. Interesting. Foul ooze concealed in its shapes, strange and shifting. You know, although I should probably dump that off the ship, I want more. I'll keep it on the ship for the time being. Alright, I caught this. I'll just go send these in to the boss. I have a look at the iron rig. Still haven't seen a monster in quite some time. Alright, but I can't run him too. What's that over there? I'm not sure, there's just some light out there. I feel like that shouldn't be there, but... Oh well. Yeah, I, I do hope that this added in at least one or two monsters. But I don't actually know whether it did or didn't. I'm just hoping. What was that? I know I heard that. There's a Leviathan. We might be too far out in the open ocean.
We need a dock before we die. Oh. Hey, fisherman, thanks again for your help filling out the generator. I've reported, our, I've reported our new operation status to HQ. In fact, they give me a budget to compensate you for any additional biomass you bring in. Just see me at the generator and I'll pay you. Let's go to the science lab first. How's it going out there? Submit samples. Do you have any of the samples from the murals yet? Yes. And I'm kind enough to give you this one. No, not storage. Alright, uh, nets don't got nothing. Cargo holds. Just this. And since I don't really need the money, I'm just gonna throw the rest of these things away. I figure it measures from the lower deck and beckons you over into the shadows. We're gonna be hanging around. Maybe we can do business. Come see me at the undermarket. Alone. Got some items you might be interested in. Don't ask where they came from. Better off you not knowing. Can't make some basic repairs too, but it will cost you. So it looks like here we can... This is our, um... Purchasing things. We can purchase things here. Um... Repair all. That's... It's not too much, actually. Repair all. Eh, nothing too good down here. But he does sell everything. That is quite useful. Alright, ah, uh, generator. You cannot pay for any biomass you act. The bigger the better. I assume this isn't usually my area. Sell so all fish. So this just allows us to sell fish, which is interesting. So we can operate entirely from here, as this is our shipwright. That's everything else in the tech lab. Yeah, you need upgrades. That's right. Science lab. Yeah, you need stuff. All right. Let's go get the stuff we need for the tech lab. Let me just open up my map here. Down here we go. And actually, it shows us where all the oil spills are, too. It feels like a few of these got a bit too close for it to be just a pure coincidence. Yep. We've gone insane. That's fine. You know what? I'll just drink some tea. How do I... Ah. Hold on Z to use. Panic Lord. I mean, I'm still insane, but... Nice bit of tea. I must wish there was a monster that showed up like a light in the night. That'd be nice. My question is, what is this light over here? I don't remember there being a light out there. Is that a star? No, it can't be. Is that... Oh, that's the... Um, yeah, I know where I'm facing now. I'm facing... Yeah, the old fortress. Alright. And then we make... Let's see, never eat a soggy. Yeah, okay, this way. Wait, was it east or west? East, I was right. Alright, so this way. I do really like this DLC so far. It's already far more interesting than the whole, um, Pale Reach, which really was quite a bore. We could have done so much more. Alright. So I'm guessing I was supposed to find this first, and then the map would have led me there, but, eh, oh well. Still want to know what this ooze does. I was not able to sell it, but I still want it for some reason. At the same time, I feel like it's not oil. I wonder what it is. It's not oil. Maybe it's some sort of... Like, those corrupted fish always have this sort of oily-ish... Like, yeah, like this. The corrupted fish always have that sort of oozy, purple vibe. When there's something really wrong with them. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe they're not drilling for oil, but instead what's making these fish corrupted. From whatever that thing that rose from the sea was. At the ending of Dredge. Whatever that thing that is that rose from the sea, perhaps... Yeah, that thing was covered in the liquid, too. Perhaps the liquid comes from it, and it's lurking under the seabeds, and possible to escape until that whole ritual is completed. If four of these. I mean, I could technically just go around and... To the three shipwrights we have in the game now. Three! The shipwright Little Maros, the Undermarket, and her over there. I can go around and buy materials with my $19,000 and buy crates. 
Which appears the same guy who sells me stuff at the undermarket is the same guy who is the welder. Hey, orcas. I'm pretty sure orcas are dolphins. But not sure. Wonder if this, if this has any secrets. Like, secret side story or something. Alright, I don't have anything from there, but I do have something for the tech lab. Or a lot of those materials will be able to upgrade some of the basic functions of your boat. There you go, construct. Everything appears to be in order. Let's get a team on it. At last, I'm excited for you to try some of these out. This wing is enhancements of your boat's functions, like lights, horns, and spyglasses. So this is make your presence known. Pulse to illuminate your surroundings. That's what we saw in the um, trailer. Does this cost a crate? I have a crate. Oh, it costs research parts. I, I'm gonna have to buy some more of those. Stronger lights, lenses, effects, improved light radius, and less panic. Can identify fishing spots at a distance and mark them on your map. Not really that useful. Enhances. Yeah, let's just buy this. Oh, I don't have any research parts. I completely forgot about that. All right. Uh, now we just need a fish. Yeah, we could buy one of these. Don't really want to. Um, I'll toss these into storage in the meantime. I have a feeling we'll need those later for when we upgrade these things up a tier. But yeah, let's go back to that, um, the area over here and start fishing again. It feels good to be back and playing dredge again. So, let me, let me see. Wait, I want to wait until I'm directly above this. How deep is this? 73 meters deep. Oh, there we go. I finally finished reading. So, what does the Book of Astral Symbols do? I'm pretty sure it'd be at the very bottom. Here it is. It has a 4% chance to aberration chats. The cover and indeed all the pages are eligible. But there should be words instead that are unfamiliar constellations and stars and astral shapes. So, that'll help us catch more aberrations. That's lovely. Actually, no, I think we got that from the Pale Reach DLC when we did that guy's quest. Now, unfortunately, our fishing maybe cuts short here as the anglerfish is abound. Somewhere around here. Yeah, we move way slower when we're in this, and our vision turns purple. Alright, um, let's get some more ooze. Still not sure what this stuff does. I don't like the sound of it, but it could be useful. Who knows? Alright. I know I've already caught this, but what's the harm of catching another? I do like this whole new fishing mechanic for these. It's quite lovely. Actually, rock that doesn't exist because I've been going insane. Right. Um. Oh, some over here. Light went out. A dark... So if we fail this, we get a dark goose. Interesting. Uh, just a grouper. We already have one of those. Have five dark splashes in your inventory. That's a legendary achievement. Alright, well then let's... Jump it into the ocean. Who knows? You know what? I bet we're gonna need a ton of these. Dark splashes. Oh! An unknown energy. I don't remember getting that one, but I have all the fish, so I know I have it. Well, there appears to be nothing around here that I need. Perhaps these will suffice? No, that's just an eel. I don't really need any of this. There we go. Um, because I know you said rod. Dang it. Of course, it hits the rod. Alright, uh, I know... Uh, I don't think I've done this one, have I? Let me check. Stone trembles before you. Let's hear in the stone. A ship tossed by weight. No, I have not read this one yet. Fog unfolds like a blanket against the deck, spilling across the ocean and crashing against the land. A distant lighthouse flickers a signal. Interesting. I, I, now I, I'm probably going to look up a video on what all those say, because I need to know if I'm going to do a story explained. Something slithers into your cargo holds. It's now infected. Oh, well. 
Uh, I did not notice this oil here. It's probably where the rest of my fish are, but alas, I have to go fix my um haul. Yeah. Strange. I, I I've played this game so much. I haven't played it in a while though. I'm but at the same time, something feels so familiar, but so different about this place. I'm not sure what it is. Or perhaps what it isn't. Alright, back to the minnows. The seagull didn't get your cast. Oh, not cast, catch. That fish! Oh, it's also this fish, that's right. Alright. Uh, Mayor, do you have anything to say about this? No. Lighthouse Keeper, my friends. Yeah, I have the book. That's all I can say to her, because I have the book. I'm supposed to throw it back, but I won't. I Let's just grab this crab pot just to throw it in the deep. Whatever this time. Oh, that's right. I need to get it fixed. Alright, then I'll go search around for those fish. But I can't believe I was just on the oil rig for 20 minutes straight. I can't be right. I'm losing my mind here. Alright, there we go. It's now operational. Also, this is probably the best item you can get in the entire game. Because it allows you to catch everything too easily. Right, it's, it's, it's harder to maneuver around these corners when you go so fast. But it's still able. I might get my skills back, but it will take a while. Uh, I already have this. I need this, though. Ah, almost first try. Paddlefish. These large, slow fish range between sluggish rivers and coastal water, so numbers are dwindling rapidly. Well, then I probably shouldn't be fishing them up now, should I? And we get an anvil fish. A heavy, a, ha a head, hammered flat against the alveum of the world. Every shaper needs a surface. Yeah, as you see, he looks completely different from his counterpart. He's, his mouth is up here, and instead of this being through his nose, it's through his stomach, along with the teeth lining it. Quite interesting. Uh, I'm just going to throw this one away. Yeah. I'm really just going for, um, aberrations here. Might as well try to get him early. Ah, nothing. Alright, and then there's a few over here. I, I kind of want more dark ooze, but at the same time I know I probably shouldn't take it. Nothing here. Okay, let's go to a different art dark ooze section. Because the dark ooze is made of the exact same stuff as this oil. So I don't exactly think... Hey, what's that over there? I'm seeing things. What is that? I'm not seeing anything. Alright. Alright, alright. So over here there might be some different fish as well. Because now we're in a different section. Uh, no. There's just some of these. Well, there's a large area here covered in oil. Nothing. Oh, oceanic. I need oceanic stuff. All right. I'll go take this to this guy and then go get some oceanic stuff. I should probably leave the anchor here now instead of the pale north. Still haven't seen any new um, enemies, so my theory right now is there's no new enemies added here. But unfortunate if that is the case. as time goes on, maybe we'll unearth a new enemy. Because I know that in the, de in the um, launch trailer, there was a Kraken of eyes, but it's, it's literally just a the Kraken, but covered in oil and has eyes now. And some weird blobby things. But that's definitely not normal. The Leviathan. It lurks. I almost died there. How's it going there? Submit samples. Take the samples. Yes, I do. Uh, I'd love to give you this. But I won't. Alright, just one more sample. 
Uh, let's go rest this in the generator. Uh, under markets. Things are missing all the time. Who knows where they'll end up? Doesn't matter in a place like this. I wonder who you are. Boy, can I buy... Is Hans Rogers treating you well, I hope. Okay, so I need to put in... Okay, so I need to put in the original. That's why that guy's there. Alright, I need... Oceanic. I prefer Oceanic, Abyssal, and Hadal. So we need a Fathomless Wrench. That'd be one of my favorites. It's time to give it an upgrade. Along with... Dark Canister. Now that I do not have. And an Iron Haven Crate. So we need a Dark Canister first, before we can go ocean fishing. Oh, well... Let me take that back then. Even though this makes me fit, fish faster, or a master fisherman like me don't really need it. Yeah, so the Leviathan was just over there. The Leviathan is really rare, but I've been hearing him. Maybe that's what the DLC does. Maybe he spawns in more often now, the Leviathan, because now the Leviathan's haunting me and stalking me through the oceanic waters. Originally he didn't do that, but now he is. Also, I gotta remember, we did. I did see a board that showed me- Oh, you, I hate you. Did see a board that showed me uh, where- <laughs> Where an uh, outpost was, but I'm not sure there's anything actually there. Ah, uh, there's the oil we're looking for. Once I said, this game is as beautiful as ever. The music's as lovely as ever. So this takes Oceanic Plus. So I'm not supposed to get this yet. I simply have to look for the... You know what? Let me... Let me go to my cabin real quick. And go to Encyclopedia. And let me go to... I wish I could specifically look at the Iron Re Reach stuff, but I can't. Alright, um... Sea Cucumber. Yeah, this is it, I think. Yeah, Sea Cucumber is pot. I was starting to think that maybe the Sea Cucumber was like crap, they're gonna catch the pot. And I was right. I was looking for something I can't find. Right. Remember when I first played this game? So much fun. But now I have infinite money. From all those fish. All those hours I spent fishing. Those videos I did make. Right. I'll just buy a... No, wait. Crab pots are bought by the fishmonger. All right. Reinforced crab pots. Thank you. I have so much money that I can afford to leave a crab pot. Like, crab a pot somewhere. I have so much money I, I don't even have to drive correctly anymore. Maybe I should spend my money on something worthless. Let's drop it here, and now we wait. And we wait. I wish there was some sort of ability to just skip a past time. But there isn't. Might as well fish. It's the fastest way to pass time in this game. Eh. Well, the fastest I've noticed. This thing still looks weird to me. So if the, if the object itself is covered in oil, then messing up will give you an oil thing. Okay, so let's see the original. This bizarre creature feeds up a mouth on the end of a long thingy. Not sure that is. Two eyes swirl on delicate spindle stalks. Right. Mouths within mouths, chambers within chambers. The mouth on grip is terminal. So if you could, if, if it bites you, you're dead. Interesting. Blue. Is it always blue? Come on, just hurry up, crab pot. Wait, don't I have the mouth in the deep? I left it somewhere. It's the best crab pot in the game. What am I doing? I think it's a twisted strands. I ain't going back there. Well, not right now at least. Alright, let's catch some more fish. Wait for the crab pot to catch something. Hope that it's a sea cucumber and not something else.
Alright. There's a lot of fish here. Uh, how many aberrations of this are there? There was so many fish there. I think the dark ooze is actually used to fill the dark canister. Oh, it's caught something. There we go, sea cucumber. Let's take it to the man, the myth, the legend himself. The scientist. Now, I bet when we get that ooze to just randomly, I think it's from the troll net. But I'm not sure. Because I know going more panicked, I don't think makes Leviathan appear more. All the other creatures it does without the Leviathan, I've been completely panicking at sea for three days and nothing happened. But then I have no panic at all and I just see the Leviathan. It's interesting that that's orange down there. Like magma boiling to the surface or something. And it's this guy. Oh well, you missed me. So what if I get hit? I have all the money in the world. Things go missing all the time. Yep. Repair my stuff, please. Alright, science lab. How's it going out there? Alright, final sample. The scientist takes a look and back, he consults the papers on his desk, then he leaves through old encyclopedias. This is remarkable. Some of these species. Have you caught these before? These haven't been seen outside the fossil record since, well, oh. ever. I suppose it could make sense. The fissure opening caused some kind of disturbance in the deep, possibly spooking some of these fish up the water columns. Run the test on these. The scientist is interrupted by the foreman outside, shutting through his megaphone again. The foreman bellows in order. Engage! Reverse gear! Get the drill out of there! Ooh, what's happening? Ooh, the fracture line continues. Farther away. This is so interesting! Look, the oil there now. Ah, uh, hell. That's enough. Drill's clear. I repeat, drill is clear. Shut it down. As I was saying, I'll run some quick tests on these specimens. But from the sounds of things, you may have some additional sample to gather. Since the reservoir is more unstable than we anticipated. Even the drill removed, it seems that the fissure is continuing to expand. Unfortunately, there have been reports of contaminants leaking from the fissure in isolated pockets. There's always a chance this might happen. The engineer at the factory has been working on an assistant to siphon such containments from the water. I'd very much like a canister of it. Hmm. Well, will do, but We're in the planning stages of the expansion to the factory. Maybe you'll be able to help us. Alright. That's it, that's all you need. Just one crate. Hmm. Let's get to work. Why do we need so many cranes? Hmm. The factory's core facility has been improved. We can make some more items now. Alright, so we have the siphon trawler, pistons and tubes, pump. Alright, so we need a basic trawl net. I don't have one of those. I sort of dumped it as soon as I got this. Alright. Undermarket. Trawl nets, basic. Throw it in storage. The big wids don't bother with the lower decks. And the folks down here, why would they mingle with people like us? I'm not complaining. Alright, let's get this. <coughs> ah, my throat. There we go. The first time I'm going to be equipping a different trawl net since the first time I got this trawl net. Except when I had to go fish in the uh, fiery sections and the other section I couldn't fish in. Alright, there goes siphon trawler. Equip the siphon trawler. Remedy apparent. Hmm. Then there's also this material harvester, which is a dredger. Amazing. And the floatsome trap, which is catches me random items. Pretty basic crab bot. I love this so far. Alright, science lab, can I help you? What was I supposed to be doing? Some samples. So I need these samples. Locals in the marrows. I can't tell if it's minnows or marrows. I'm just gonna call it the marrows. The marrows and Gale Cliff have reported sightings of strange ooze in the surface water. Each clip can't serve it for me. 
You need to equip the site controller and deploy it to contaminate areas and extract samples from it. Do you anything about these mutated fish of inviting? Mutations are present in almost all species, and fish are certainly no exceptions. In my years I've studied it. In my years of study I've even seen fish with extra fins, eyes, and even heads. Yes, they're relatively normal, part of the development of the species. Occasionally they can be influenced by external factors, but only in ex exceptional circumstances. What's going to happen to the fissure that opened up? Now the drill is withdrawn, it should settle down, providing nothing else to serve as a seabed. I expect that's given us enough time to be able to fill up the sediment entirely. In the meantime, it appears to have opened up some interesting opportunities for research. Hmm? Alright. Interesting, but so much talking. Jeez, those science types, I swear, they can talk like nobody's watching. Doesn't make any sense. Anyways. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and go follow me on Rumble. I mean, I don't have any crates left. Actually, I do, I do. There's one over here. Let's just send that to storage for right now. Yes, yeah, so this guy is the guy who's selling me stuff from the foundry. Question, is he selling me the same things I'm giving to him? That's everything. We'll get to work. Zerk Lab is fully built now. These modules can be attached to your ship. Place are flexible too. They can be wired wherever you need to go. Alright, so here we have turning speed increased by 25%. Reversing is 35%. Dredging speed is 25%. Throw catching rate is 10% more. Heat absorbance plus 15%. Absorbs. Okay, so that's less heat generated. Or maybe faster getting rid of it and more efficient speed. Not the most useful other than the turning speed and the heat sink. Aww. I wonder if you get multiple heat sinks. Oh well. Tend to sell these fish. Energy levels are good, but I won't say no to a top up. Add some fish in and we're good to go. Alright. That's gonna do it for today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and go follow me at Rumble. And if you liked this video, as much as I liked playing this game, make sure to like, subscribe, follow me at Rumble. And tune in next time as we continue and venture forth out into the boundless sea and continue building the oil rig, assist the Iron Hip Corporation, collect some containments, and get some samples from Gale Cliffs. And, uh, yeah, we're going to be catching all operations yet again. All the fish. But, yeah, that's going to do it. 